Hi Vogue, I'm Kaya Gerber and I'm going to be showing you what I wear in a week. So this is what I would wear on the job. It's a very classic me look. A blazer, classic blue jeans. These are Celine, I love the fit of them. And they're really long with a little heeled boot, but nothing crazy. Sunglasses, of course and a watch because I don't want to run late. This blazer is Paco and I like it because it's a little bit longer so you kind of get a trench coat feel. The boots are also Paco. I think my closet is literally just different versions of this outfit. I don't think I own anything else other than jeans and blazers. The most important thing for me is comfortability. Especially after this year, I spent so many days on end in sweatpants that the fact that I'm even wearing jeans right now is a miracle and I am not about to wear anything uncomfortable ever again in my life. So this is what I would wear going out with friends, something a little more dressy. I actually lied when I said I only wear jeans and blazers because clearly this is something new, but it's a cute little black trouser that I love. And these trousers are Galvin and this Kate top that's a little bit witchy and 70s and very cool and comfortable. And the same Paco boots. And with this, I'd probably also wear a bag. So we have this Celine bag. I think the gold looks really cute with this outfit and this little print. You don't have to choose a flare either. That's a common misconception. You can have flare everywhere. <laughs> I like to get the vibe from my friends because you don't want to show up in sweatpants when everyone else is like having a fun dressed up night. So you always kind of feel it out. I'm like, is it sneakers or are we going for it? And this is probably like an in-between, I would say. So this look is, got it from my mama. My mom always referenced very classic looks. So I get that from her. She always gave me like very staple pieces to have to travel with that you can interchange. So it's the same black trousers as before from Galvin and the top is also from Galvin. Made it a little bit younger and more modern, I'm sorry mom, by adding this little bra top. I love this leather blazer from Nanushka. And then I did a flat boot this time from Celine and some classic sunglasses, like a very classic shape. I feel like my mom always used to wear this shape. And the one thing I stole from her very young were her sunglasses. The best style advice my mom has given me is less is more. She also let me make fashion mistakes, which I appreciate a lot. I think the, the biggest mistake that I made was trying to dress up a lot when I was like off duty. When I first started modeling, I was wearing like heels all the time and full looks. That lasted one season. Sometimes I will see a picture of my mom and I think it's me. Like this literally happened the other day. I posted a picture in this Marc Jacobs plaid dress and she texted me and she's like, Kaya, I swear to God I had that dress in the 90s. And she sent me a picture and it was the exact same dress. A leather blazer feels a little more dressy to me. And I wore a leather jacket for so long. So the blazer kind of felt like a level up for me. <laughs> so this is a date night look. Shocker, I'm wearing pants again and black boots again. I'm a big fan of boots. I love the word boots. I just like love to say I'm wearing boots. It just, it sounds serious. Like, oh my gosh, she has boots on. You know when you're walking through New York and there's those like vents in the sidewalk and like you see pictures of Rihanna walking on them and it's literally like, for some reason she doesn't fall. I do, I fall every time. So like these are a boot where I know I'm safe to walk over a crack or a vent and not, and you don't sink into grass either. So they're grass safe also. Foreshadowing, these boots could also be worn with a dress, maybe. Tune in to maybe see these boots maybe be worn with a dress, maybe, I don't know. These Celine jeans are very like classic French girl, straight leg. The same Paco shoes with a little heel because it's date night. And this top is Kate, it's very cute, strapless. And the leather jacket is also Kate. Wearing strapless is kind of like playing Russian roulette but I think it like adds a fun element to the night. Like a boob might come out. We don't know. Like I can't promise you that you're not going to have at least one boob come out, if not both. 
This is a good date look. This is like bare maximum. I want you to know a little bit about me. Like I'm cool, I'm down with anything. I'm wearing a leather jacket, but you know, you have like the cute little like feminine top, which adds a little like girly element. And then jeans, cause you're like, yeah, if you want to take me on an adventure after this, I'm not going to be like, oh no, I can't because I'm wearing a skirt. It's like, yes, I will go hike up a mountain with you, even in my Paco heels. They're my safety blanket. Boots are a safety blanket. <laughs> Boots. This is my going to the gym look. Also, if you've seen any picture of me within the last year, I've probably only been wearing this. This is like the most realistic outfit probably of my entire week because this is what I wear every day. I have a little like matching workout set here, which is very cute. I have no idea where this is from, but I found it on Instagram and I love it. <laughs> and my leg warmers. Um, and I'm a big fan of Pilates, so that's why I'm wearing Uggs because they're very comfortable and warm. And my sunglasses. Oh, and how could I forget my matching hand sanitizer that I just clip onto my bag? This is an accidental match, but it has become my favorite part of my year that I have this matching hand sanitizer with my bag. So we're chic, we're clean. We are safe. And then this little fleece jacket is from Free People and I have it in multiple colors. And my bag is from Celine. Growing up in Malibu, I only wore Uggs. It's like, it's your beach shoe, it's your walk shoe, it's your, you wear them to school. I'll probably be in this outfit until I go to sleep. It's great that now people are making cute and functional workout sets, but functionality over everything when it comes to workout clothes, always. I would also like to point out that these are called Ugg boots. Shout out mom, shout out Jane Fonda, shout out everyone else in the 80s who worked out like this. Okay, so this is my going to get coffee. Didn't want to leave the house, but have to look. It's very comfortable with this nice Celine bra and a Celine blazer kind of dresses it up. You can throw it on. I could sleep in this outfit. And then this is actually might shock the masses. I'm not wearing boots. I am wearing, in fact, sneakers. So these are a white Celine sneaker. Really comfortable, functional, and throw on some sunglasses, again, to feel like dressed up. These sweatpants are Brandy Melville, shout out, because Brandy Melville has been a staple in my life since I was in like fifth grade. I've always had more of an androgynous type of style. And I don't even think that word applies anymore. Like I feel like every brand is kind of for everyone now, but I've always been more drawn towards like what would be considered more masculine shapes. And I think that's why I like blazers. And I didn't have an older sister. I had an older brother. So I wanted Heelys and I wanted sweatshirts and I wanted like those beanies with the brims that all the skaters wore. My idea of fashion was this like skater, surfer culture. I'm probably getting back in bed and reading a book or watching a movie or playing with my dogs. And like, I probably would take my pants off too, if we're being fully honest, but I won't right now for you guys, but I normally would. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. This is my going out look when the world opens back up. Summer 2021, very free, I can feel the breeze. These are a boot that I wanted to wear all of 2020 and did not get to. So I don't care if it's 100 degrees out, I'm wearing my high boots with my summer dress. And these boots are from Bifar. They're very cute, also comfortable. The dress is from Doen. And then my sunglasses, cause I feel like it adds a little bit of like a Sharon Tate vibe, forever referencing Sharon Tate. Maybe I'm going to the farmer's market. Maybe I'm taking my dog for a walk. Maybe I'm having a lunch, even a brunch. Who knows? This is a very versatile outfit, I feel like. I also would like just want to twirl, you know? And I love like a little feminine puffy sleeve. So it's like, is she sweet? Or like, what will she do? We don't know. And that's what's so exciting about this outfit. <laughs> Vogue, thank you so much for watching what I would wear in a week. I hope you learned something. I hope you get some boots. I hope you get some blazers. I hope you get some inspiration. Bye.